I'm interested about the mobile operating system. I mean, you've been talking about that for a while, Mozilla. Um, but um, it kind of opens the question of, you know, well, really, why is Mozilla doing this? And also, from the standpoint of an advertiser, I mean, you've been in the mm -hmm. advertising industry, aren't you concerned, shouldn't we be concerned with all these walled mobile gardens that are incompatible with each other? Yeah. So the nice thing was is for the first 30 minutes before I came on stage, it was set up why we're moving into the mobile space. I mean, you cannot ignore how large the mobile ecosystem is mobile devices in this world. There's more mobile devices, I guess, now than toothbrushes. Who knew? Um, and so for Mozilla, which is a desktop, uh, well, for Firefox desktop, that which sounds is- sounds like a market opportunity, yeah, by the huge. way. It's huge. Um, and for a company that has hundreds of millions of users on a desktop browser with a brand that consistently gets ranked top for internet trust and privacy and security, it makes sense for us to go in the mobile space. If we don't, then where will we be in five years as an organization? So how to get to the space was we looked if we could partner. And there are certain partners that wanted nothing to do with Firefox and the ecosystem. So they said, okay, we're gonna have to build it ourselves. And the same way that we built uh, Firefox as an open source project, we took those same principles and applied it to the mobile ecosystem. So in building our operating system from the ground up, that's exactly what we borrowed from our previous playbook that worked. And we moved into that space. And in terms of the walled garden, in part of our mission, we have about 10 statements in our mission. And in one of those statements, we believe that competition breeds opportunity. The more competition there is in the marketplace, the more opportunity there is for everyone to prosper. And our mission is to build a better and open internet. And a better and open internet means that many people prosper to push the internet further along. And so that internet is now mobile. And so for, in terms of walled gardens, I've never been long on walled gardens. We've all seen where a lot of them had ended up. And so we wanna be the opposite. And so we wanna work with everybody. Now, it sounded from the way you're describing it that you're placing, in mobile again, you're placing a, a bet on HTML5 as opposed to an apps-based economy. Is that a fair kind of view of it? So we're doing a little bit of both, but the apps are all based on HTML5. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we do control an app store in a marketplace. Um, and so if you want to release an app on our devices, if they're built in HTML5, we can place it in the marketplace. Mozilla also has a, a program called WebMaker, which allows you to create apps. Um, and uh, very simple to do, to port apps from other bases into HTML5 or other areas. We're long in that direction. And so our mobile operating system, as well as our desktop operating system, or our desktop browser, is gonna push that forward. Great.